Good morning. Today's video is only, well, this video, I'll be posting other ones, but this video is just for Dr. Smith's first period life skills class. So if you're receiving and seeing this video and you don't have my first period class, then disregard this video. Otherwise, pay very close attention because I am going to explain your next assignment. That's right. And this time, it's a writing assignment. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna get to the straight dope on this. Here as I am live from my old 1917 farmhouse and the wonderful architecture that ensues. Now, what you should have already done is, you should have already completed your five goals. You should have chosen one and made an action plan, measurable steps to get to it. Well, here's the next thing I need you guys to do, and this assignment is going to be on Tuesday. I really need you guys to have it done by then. You are to write an autobiography, okay? Now, what do I mean by your autobiography? Well, I will tell you. Okay, we all have a timeline, okay? You have your life as it is that you've known it now. You were born, you're, you've lived 12, 13, 14 years for some of you guys. And now you're either 7th or 8th graders or Golden West. So you need to include that part in it. I was born here and I did this. But then you need to continue the autobiography further. Like, say you put in your autobiography that you lived to the year 2060. Okay, so then what did you do during those time frame? So you're basically making everything up that happens after this year if that makes sense so like um let's say that you're a seventh grader now and you're what 13 14 let's say you're 14 now well you'll be talking about events i was born here i lived in Mantilla, california but then you're going to start making the events up um you might make up where you where you are going to college. I went to college at UCLA where I majored in marine biology. I then got a job uh, working for the oceanic service where I discovered new forms of life or that you visited Mars or whatever. But either way, you're making your autobiography up, okay? You're making your autobiography completely up. So some of it, well, past now. So your autobiography is not only going to include what it is that you've experienced so far, but what else are you going to experience? Now, when you write this autobiography, guys, think about what your goals were that you put down. If you put down as one of your goals to go to college, well, what was your degree in? Uh, if your goal was to, uh, work out, then maybe you want to put in, and I know I'm biased about this, I talk about bodybuilding and probably way too much, but, or if you ended up buying the Rams and taking them back to St. Louis, whatever it is you want to do, but you're making everything completely up. Now, this autobiography needs to be one page, double spaced, okay, do it in a Word document, one full page or more, okay, don't just no larger than a 14 point font. Don't put a like a 20 point font on it, no larger than 14 point. I'd actually prefer you do a 14 point font. Uh, double spaced, more than a page, okay? If it's five pages, so be it. Sometimes when I've assigned this autobiography in the past, I've ended up with like 10 page uh, autobiographies, but it doesn't really matter because beyond that. If you want to do a five-page autobiography, be my guest. I'll, I have a feeling I'll really enjoy reading it. Now, this gets us to your plan for the weekend. Make sure you get everything taken care of. Guys, I know when you have viewed assignments, I see it on there. I also know, thanks to Insight, when you've been on the online and when you haven't. So you've got to make sure that you stay up on things, okay? So it's not enough just to view it and be done with it, no. Also, some people are <laughs> loading, it's actually quite comical, are just loading a blank document. Yeah, don't do that either. 
Make sure that your assignment is loaded and make sure that it is loaded properly, please. So your assignment that's going to be due on Tuesday, I won't post anything until then, but your assignment that's going to be due on Tuesday is going to be your autobiography. So get it done. You can work on it today, work on it over the weekend, work on Monday, whatevs, but it is due on Tuesday. Okay, to repeat, more than one page on Microsoft Word, double spaced, no more than a 14 point font and please don't choose those funky fonts i know people like to get creative but try to keep it at like a new times roman or a calambra or something like that cambria cambria anyway you guys have a good day i think you're going to enjoy doing this autobiography i think it's going to be fun for you to do so get her all wrapped up get her squared away i look forward to reading your responses on tuesday have a good day more videos for your other classes will probably be coming today so make sure you get them done have a good day